Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I have a science project to share with you for our Ancient Greece main lesson block. We are using this book as inspiration called Ancient Science by Jim Weiss and in here there is a project to make a water clock. Now we have made water clocks before for our Ancient Civilizations main lesson blocks and we're going to do this a little bit differently this time and again we're not going to get the best results. So this is filled with water, this is just some coconut water container. We also have a bowl which we're actually going to trade out for a glass container and we're using a phone as a timer so I went ahead and I poked a hole into our container using a paper piercer you can do so with a safety pin as well we wanted a really small hole so that we could use our water clock to measure about 20 or 30 minutes rather than just a couple of minutes so my permanent marker didn't work on my glass container so I went ahead and I got a little bit of tape and that way we can mark the different levels of water according to the time now one thing that we noticed is that the water, because of the water pressure, comes out a lot faster in the beginning. You also want to make sure that you leave your container open, otherwise you'll create a vacuum and the water will not come out anymore. Over time, the water does start to dwindle and you're going to see what happens shortly when there's just not enough water pressure to get the water coming out in a spray. So every minute we went ahead and we marked another tick on our piece of tape and after about 15 to 20 minutes you can see that there's quite a bit of water in the jar but you can see that it's just coming out in drops and the drops actually are resting on our table that our water clock is resting on so that didn't work out so well. So after about 15 to 20 minutes, it's time to fill up our water clock again. Now that we have calibrated our water clock, it's time to test it out and see if it actually works. So I filled that back up again. We're going to reset our timer and we're going to release the water and it doesn't come out. <laughs> it's so frustrating. It's just coming out in drops and it's kind of messing with our calibration. So after a little bit of kind of drying the place where the water comes out we managed to get it coming out in a spray again and that way we can see if our water clock actually works now either because of our initial mishap or simply because we didn't calibrate our clock correctly the first time around there is about a one to two to three minute discrepancy on our water clock so we're going to run it and see if that discrepancy can even itself out, but it doesn't. Right here it's about three minutes and our clock shows about five and a half minutes. And it continues to show that same discrepancy throughout. Now at this point we could recalibrate our water clock a couple of times until we got something that was a bit more accurate. We decide not to do that, but if you end up doing this project, I would love to hear how your results fare. If you want to see some of the other projects we're doing with our Ancient Greece main lesson block, you can tap on the screen right now. And if you want to see what we're up to on a daily basis, don't forget that you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.